anytime you camp in cold weather or the snow, it you're definitely taking a risk. There is dangers. Yeah. Yeah, so we chose this site very carefully. We're four miles away from the town of Stanley. We're a hundred yards away from a major road that gets plowed. We have cell reception and we have backup friends on call. Not to mention we have plenty of sleeping bags and blankets and water and food and all the necessary yeah. supplies to dig ourselves out. So having said that, if you go camping in the snow, Please take all these precautions and also know that things can still go wrong. That's for and, sure. And can be dangerous. With that, enjoy the video. Today we are free camping just outside of Stanley, Idaho. And we finally got a snowstorm here. Matter of fact, the whole week it's supposed to snow. And so we're looking at cloudy and snow every day, at least for the next five days or so. So we're gonna see if we can stay here the, own, the whole time. And the only thing that might limit that is our batteries. So, you know, if you've been watching our channel, you know we have solar panels on our roof and that's how we get our charge for our battery. We can also charge up the battery from the vehicle if we're running it, so that does help, but it's a slow charge. So we started off at 83% battery charge today. We'll be checking that every day because we know we're gonna have to conserve if the sun doesn't come out. We're not gonna get any power, and I wanna show you up on the roof here. Look how dirty and nasty that one side is. About the problems that we're already facing here. So I keep coming up on the roof and checking these panels and getting the snow off. But there's a layer of ice on them already. And that one that's all the way in the front is all iced up. So the manufacturers say you're not supposed to scrape ice off because you could damage the, the solar panels, but I'm just gonna give it a shot anyway. I've almost got all the ice off now. I'm hoping the next time I come up here, I'll just be able to use a broom and broom the snow off and I won't have to do this all over again. But even though it's snowing, we are actually taking a small charge right now. So that's pretty cool. How are your new gloves? Wool gloves are awesome. They're a little wet, but they're still warm. That's good. You were having a big problem with your other gloves. Yeah, finally my hands are staying warm. You were up there like, what, an hour? Took at least an hour to scrape that ice off. That's the worst it's ever been, huh? Yeah. Next time I'll be up there right away, right after it snows to get that, <laughs> before it turns to ice. Okay, so I think you gotta turn the van around because the sun's on this yep, side. Yep, I'm gonna pull the van around. We'll hook up that extra solar panel. See what we're taking in? Even though it's, yeah, we'll see what we're taking in even though it's cloud cover and lightly snowing. So even on this snowy day, we're taking in about 49 watts from the solar panels. We got two on the roof and then the one here. So that's something, that's, uh, that's better than nothing. And I wouldn't expect that initially on a snowy day. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty happy. Oh, Rudolph's happy. I'm happy. Rudolph's happy.
have to show you this. Look at this amazing trail. It looks like a hundred people have walked this trail. Let's go see where it goes. And what do we have here? What are you doing? There was a giant stack of wood back there and I've, I'm down to about three loads that I'll have the whole thing. How much wood do we need? Well, we're gonna have that fire going all day tomorrow and the next day to celebrate all the snow that's supposed to be falling and just sit back and relax. <laughs> okay, let's go see how much wood you have hauled. It looks like a hundred people have walked this trail. Yeah, that's me. That's, that's about 30 trips. 30 trips. <sighs> So what are we expecting? A blizzard tomorrow? <laughs> I hope so. Last night was the coldest night that we've ever had in the van in about two years. It was down to nine degrees below zero. So I knew I wanted to stay outside today and do something to keep my body temperature up because I had two choices, stay in the van all day or do something outside. So if this wood was over there. I've been hauling it all day. I think I put in about seven miles just hauling the wood. Seven miles. And the next two days, I'm just gonna sit back, watch it snow, and build a big old giant fire. So you're gonna sit outside in the snow? Sit outside in the snow and stay close to the fire. Okay, here's proof that my husband is crazy. <laughs> crazy about snow. That's at least half a cord. It was good exercise and it kept me warm. Okay. And we're going to enjoy it the next couple days. All right, I can't fault you on that. What's Rudolph think? He just wants to play ball. <laughs> There's actually a ball stuck back in the wood pile. And I can't get it until we burn some of the wood now. So he's stuck with his second best ball. The tennis ball? Yeah, the tennis ball. All right, I'm going to go get those last two loads and call it done. All right, well, I'm going back in the van to be lazy. <laughs> All right. The storm's just now starting to move in. It's bringing with it some pretty strong winds. I'd say at least gale force. Not a whole lot of snow yet. I think you can probably see some in the camera, but a lot of wind driven snow. I'm thinking we might be in for a doozy here. Now my plan today was to build a fire and hang out and watch the gentle snow fall to the ground. But maybe my plans are changing because for one, it's going to be really hard to start a fire in this kind of wind. And then two, with the wind out, it feels much colder than it has in the last couple of days. But I think I will make an attempt to get a fire going anyhow.
Brutal. What do you think about this? Oh, he likes it. He's like, you got what? snow all over your face. What do you think about this? Is this enough snow for you? Nope. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying it, but I could go for at least a foot, foot and a half. And you think we're going to get out okay? We may have to wait a few days or dig out, but eventually we'll get out. <laughs> You're crazy. Got a good fire going. It's my turn to get water from the river. This is how we're prolonging our water. Got my micro spikes on. It's a little bit of a hike down. As you can see, it's snowing really good. I think it's time to go make some dinner, some soup. It's kind of cold out here. Wow, this is steep. Dinner is served. I think we're going to turn the Wabasto heater on, watch a Christmas movie, mm. eat our soup, mm. and wake up to a winter wonderland. Yeah. I can't wait to see what it looks like outside. <laughs> this is good. Is it good? This is one of my favorite all-time soups. I shared my secret ingredient with him. Mm. So this may still be drivable to get out. Not quite as deep as I was thinking. Right at around 13 inches of snow. But we can only push so much snow with the van. And it's gonna wanna get high centered. And this definitely looks like the kind of road that you don't wanna drive down with this much snow on it. But I think we're gonna have to give it a try just to see what the van can do. 
and there's the main road just up at the the top the trees and the top of the van actually don't have that amount much snow on it considering how much snow is on the ground that was definitely due to that high wind that we had but i'm gonna go get the broom at least brush off those solar panels so the snow doesn't turn into ice and get super hard to take off The resistance from pushing the snow I think is just too much so I'm going to back up to our camp spot see if I can at least make a few tracks going out of here. I don't think we're going to make it out today but I want to make a, it as easy as possible if we do get more snow so less snow to shovel. He did. Yeah, that's not good. I think I broke it earlier because I heard a weird sound. Hope I didn't cut the brake line. Well, it looks like I actually broke the chain, so I'm going to take the chain off before it does any damage. I'm hoping it didn't break the brake line or cause any damage behind. And then I guess we're going to have to dig out just to get back to our camp spot. <laughs> Riddle will help. Yeah. Come here, Riddle. Anytime you break a chain, that chain is just going to whip around like a whip and cause all kinds of damage if you don't catch it right away. And you almost have to catch it instantly. I think Carrie did catch it instantly this time, so we were able to stop. It looks like the brake lines are okay, and I don't see any other damage. It can do a serious amount of damage if you break a chain. But it looks like we dodged a bullet on this one. So we're going to try to limp out of here on one chain and some traction boards after a whole lot of digging. And we'll have to watch our gas consumption as well. Even though we're close to town, it could easily take a half a tank of fuel to go a couple hundred feet in this kind of snow. Trying that just real slow motion like that, okay? Okay. Because it might be the 
Our other chain has broke. I caught it early, so it looks like it was just the one strand going across. So that nothing's whipping around and tearing everything up yet. We're gonna remove it, and it's gonna get a lot tougher. <laughs> it's gonna be three feet at a time. Yep. Riedel thinks this is a blast. Good fun. Look how much snow is here. I open the door. We're pushing snow with the door. Yeah, it's deeper than 13 inches here. There's, there's snow drifts, I think it's a foot and a half at least. We got lots of digging to do. But we have lots of time, so take our time and get us out. Okay, that is where we were down there. So we made it all the way up here. Broke our second chain. We're gonna stay here tonight because tomorrow is the big, the big dig out, which Dave is working on now. If you ever need to dig yourself out in this situation, join hands like we are here. This will give you a great guideline on where to dig where your tires should be. Wow, you really dug that out. Well, if you're going to do take stupid chances, you better be willing to do a little work to get yourself out. And uh, that was a lot of work. <laughs> That's all by hand. So all we got to do tomorrow is really get to the road and we're good. Yep. All right, Dave, tell us about the hardest part that we have to do tomorrow. Um, the hardest part, I think I already did the hardest part, but I have to completely remove all the snow here so we have no resistance. Because we're going uphill. Because we're going up a pretty steep hill. And then once we're on pavement we're good but we're gonna have to carry watching for cars coming because i'm probably gonna have to get some speed going <laughs> yeah and we don't want to slide off yeah. down here that would be the absolute worst case scenario yeah it's be it'd be better to go slow and to have to get help than to go fast and end up over there yeah well it's an adventure yep it's about time for bonfire. I got it going. All right. I'm gonna do just a little bit more digging and then I'm gonna head that way. Okay. Oh, look at the snow falling from this direction. Mm -hmm. Did I forget to mention the eight part? Yeah. Another four to eight inches of snow. Tonight? <laughs> Tonight. And I just dug out all that rest of that road, so. <laughs> There's a good chance I'll be digging again in the morning. Eight inches sounds like a lot more snow.
Um, I may have forgot to tell him about the eight part. <laughs> it's not supposed to start snowing to at till eleven. Uh huh. And here it is, what five o'clock? Yep. And it's already starting to snow. Yeah, we could be in for a real treat. <laughs> <laughs> With two broken tire chains and a cracked traction board, eight plus more inches of snow on the way, we decided that we might just be pushing ourselves to the breaking point. And we're gonna try to get out of here tonight. We're out. We did it. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. No. One, one shot and you were out. So our, our <laughs> chains failed us, but our traction boards did not. No. And they definitely got us out of that jam. A like, lot easier than ever. <laughs> we both were just like, not another eight inches of snow yeah, tonight. I just didn't feel like re-digging <laughs> all that over again. We did it. We did it. High five. Yay. Woo! I think we're going to drive into town and park somewhere safe for the night where we don't have to dig out again. Yeah. And get pizza. Oh, pizza. <laughs> If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching. Even ready to film you get out of there because yeah. I didn't think it was going to happen that fast. I just didn't want to stop once I got going there. I thought we were going to go every three feet and need to replace the traction boards. I thought for sure when you got to the top we would have to use traction boards. Oh, yeah. Boards. I think it's because I got rid of the whole middle, so there was like no resistance. <laughs>